Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Roxanne and this is my unboxing channel. Today we are going to be doing February's Glossy Box. Um, just to let you know, Glossy Box is a monthly subscription based out of um, the U.S. It is $21 a month and $5 to ship. Are you almost done? Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get my little one ready for bed. <laughs> um, so right... Right now, I believe they had a promo on where if you buy two, or you got a three-month subscription, you got one box for free. Um, with that being said, I also had a $10 credit from doing my advent calendar. So I got it for like, I think like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, so like 15 $16. And they only charged me $5 for shipping when it should have been 15 you know, five for each month. So I got a really good steal for this. I really like this month's box. Um... It says here it's mixed board from Responsible Resources. So let's go ahead and open it up. I didn't open this up, and I've completely forgot what the spoilers were. So I will definitely be keeping this box. I absolutely adore it. As well as I'm going to do some swatches from some of the items I got from e.l.f. I did a little e.l.f. order. So Glossy Box does really good packaging. I'm not feeling a book, which is kind of unusual. Okay, so there is no book in here. Okay. Oh, that's right, because they were doing it online. That is right. So I'm going to pull that up quickly and see what it says here. Let's see. Oh, let's go to Glossy Box here. Come on. Okay, so they said they were going to start doing it digitally, which is kind of nice. Um... Okay, where is it here? Okay, there it is. So it's called Share the Love. Um, so let's see here. Okay, so this is the Figs and Rouge Wonder Love Charm. Okay, so what is this exactly? Distinctive brightening and charming elixir designed to delicate del delight and intensify skin's natural glows this apparently retails for $46 that's absolutely crazy so the next brand here I'm actually super excited to try um, this brand is actually um, available at Shoppers Drug Mart just so that you know I am Canadian so the $5 shipping that I was talking about is to Canadians in the US it is only $21 a month and free shipping um, so this is gold honey and chamomile, so it retails value is $6. This is all in American dollars. So we do have this here. It is about 7 or $8. Um, I wonder if it's just one. Um, it doesn't really say, but I kind of feel like it's only one. I'll definitely be giving that a try. So the next item it says here is a dual St. Lux. Lip liner duo. Okay, you know what? This is one thing I find that not a lot of boxes offer, and I have been buying quite a few of myself. I haven't found my perfect um, lip liner, so I'm really like happy with this. So this retails for about thirty dollars. Um, so one is like a pink, and one is like. Um, Okay, it's funny. It says here, um, avoid sharpening your pencils to the point of stilettos. You want sharp eyeliner, but harsh lip definition isn't the way to go for a perfect pout. Okay, I just read the a lip liner and I'm like, or eyeliner, and I'm like, wait a second, this is lip liner. I am trying to open this. So, let's see if I can get it open. So I would like to do some swatches. And of course it's... Oh, well, I understand doing this to some products. I just wish there was an easier way of opening it. And of course, both my nails have failed me today. Let's see if I can do this. Well, that works. Okay, so this color, this one is... 
doesn't really say. So let's do this. Oh. Might have done that too strong. I don't know. So, okay, so there's the lip liner of that color. I will give that a sharpen much later today or tonight, tomorrow, something like that. I have to be up early tomorrow, so I kind of want to get this over and done with so I can go to bed. Anyway, and my boxy charm, my like my first account should be here tomorrow. So I went and I did a quick, um, quick stat or shop at uh, Elf. I heard that they're three dollar palettes. They're supposed to be really amazing. So I grabbed some some to try. So I'm not gonna press this hard. Oh, there we go. Okay. So so with these, you don't need a lot of pressure. Like, look how nice that's going on. I don't know if you can see that. So there's the two colors there. I like them both. Um, I will say that their plastic needs some work. <laughs> I don't even know how to get that off. Like, seriously. Okay, so. Let's do that. I want to put the lids back on these so that nothing can happen to them, of course. Whatever. Okay, so. And then my phone had to turn off. So, Floss Beauty, which was uh, featured in Oh, okay. So, this is actually uh, distributed from Montreal, BC. Montreal, Quebec. Sorry, Montreal, BC. It's made in China, though. Okay. So, this is um, my, my new favorite lip gloss. Sorry, guys. Not glittery or sticky, the gloss is the one you can take with you everywhere. Hydrating, long-lasting. Okay, so it retails for $16. So, let's do, let's see if it matches this. So, yeah, that could. I don't believe this it will actually retail for $16, especially when it's made in China. Um, so anyway, let's go to the next item, which is Bella Pierre Highlighter and Eyeshadow. It's in this god awful color gold. Um, Sultry Press Highlighter retails for $25. Again, I don't really believe that. I don't mind Bella Pierre highlighters. Actually, I've been using the one I got from. Um, the one I got broken. Oh, that just hurt like you would not believe. I just broke my nail. Can you see? I broke my nail. Now I gotta go. That really hurt. Okay, so this retails for $24.99. Okay, it says use some primer for more staying power. Add a bit of powder on top of it before application. So there's a likely good chance I'm just gonna actually toss this in the garbage because. Bella Beer is not a bad brand. It's not a great brand. So I might even give this a chance as an eyeshadow, but uh, I don't see it being a highlighter. Like, that's just... No, that's not a really color for me. So, um, for the price of the box, like, if this was my free box, this is pretty awesome. Um, there's quite a few things I will use out of this. Um, apparently this month there was supposed to be... Uh, contest going on um, where you could win something else. I obviously did not get it because, you know, I'm not really lucky at that stuff. So this is something I will use. These are two things I will definitely use. The lip gloss I might give a try. The highlighter probably not. The Vix and Ruse I actually might give a try. Uh, a try. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to open it up just in case I do put it in a giveaway. So, not a bad box. Not a great box. Not one of my favorite boxes, but the um, lip liners I'm definitely looking forward to. Um, so, I got a bunch of boxes this week, and I kind of uploaded the... Um... <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, just... Ugh. Okay, so, I got a bunch of boxes this week, and I have been trying on the different things. I tried on the Wonder Beauty... Um, 
eyeshadow. And I'm not 100% sold on it. I'm actually wearing the Becca um, foundation. Uh, I use the Blur Stick, which I'm not 100% again sold on it. I'm going to have to play with it a little bit more. I also I uh, decided to use the uh, balm, lip balm, or lip gloss, or whatever it is, and I love it. I abs abs absolutely love it. It is great. I love it. Tried it some of the brushes. I have to say, I am. A, I really like the Fair brush, the marble brush I got a couple months ago or last month, as well as I did try out one of the new... Alamar brushes and it's not too bad. I did give the Wayne Goss one or Ghost to Goss uh, a try and it's not too bad as well as the micro sponge. And I just realized I have this big huge palette that I need to use so maybe I will use this one for the next next go. But um, I also just kind of wanted to do this quickly. I bought three of the bite um, bite size Elf palettes that I've heard so much about, so I thought I would do a quick. Um, aren't these gorgeous? So I thought I'd do a quick. Um, what do you want? What do I want to say? Yeah, swatches. That's what I want to do. So let's do that here. You guys see? So hold on. Ooh. Okay, so that's like barely putting my hands or my fingers in. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. So these are more blue. I thought they were kind of purples, but I guess they're not. Um, is this, oh, this is Akia U. Okay, and I did not bring. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, don't know why I put those now. Oh, there they are. Okay, so anyway. I believe this is very bad. So let's give this one a try. Try not to break my nail anymore. I'm trying to grow them out long and it's just not happening, guys. So these look more pink, purple. So these don't have individual colors. Oh, but look at those go on. Okay, so that last shade needs more. Oh, sorry. This is that last shade. Okay. So these shades are gorgeous. Okay. So I'll give these a try and let you know what I think. So this one is, I believe, rose, is it rose water? So there it is there. Oops. So... He's one of my hemp pipes. Okay, so say bye. 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 All right, so let's try this one. So I heard these were really, really deeply pigmented, so ooh. So the one is not as, so the the matte shades aren't as as good as the um. So there it is there, like this is definitely interesting. It's got some uh, sparkles to it to make it look purple, and this you can definitely see that it's like a rose gold and same as that one. So they're gorgeous. So I will definitely be giving this one uh, a go, as well as thought I would try the lip liner and blending brush in Dusty Rose. So I wanna see if I, I, I don't like that. Like, why do you make the packages this big? And then the, I looked in and like, you know, you don't look in the corner and you don't know where anything is. So I only spent about $25 American because of course that's when you get your free shipping. Oh, that's such a good, gorgeous color. Um, it did take forever to get here. Forever. So there's the brush. The brush is nice. Um, I thought I picked another one, but I don't know. So this is the Sheer Liquid Matte 
lipstick and I believe this is in the nude rose I think it's just settled a bit I'm trying to do this quickly and it's just ah oh, there we go okay. don't know why but okay so I don't think it's supposed to be liquidy like that so I wonder if it just needs to be shaken up who knows it is elf but I mean they do have some good products okay so there it goes that's a little bit better so that look definitely is a color I could probably pull off I'm hoping anyway and then um, I believe I got this one free I think they had like I got two items for free and I don't even remember which ones should have maybe looked at my order before I went online, but it's been a long day. I know I keep saying that. Every day is a long day. So there's the berry. That's a color I think I'm going to try and pull off. I think if I put that underneath the, the nude, I would be okay. So then I tra thought I'd try the all day stay, all day stay eyeshadow primer. So I'll excited for that um, Wow Brow Brunette don't often do my eyebrows so and then I also grabbed this Putty Eye Primer Cream so I'm definitely excited to try this because I, I do like wearing primers on my eyes it's just that <clears throat> they don't always stay there um, so anyway um, I'll be loading this up <laughs> Heading to bed, unfortunately, so I won't be able to answer any questions or uh, comments tonight. But um, I do have a giveaway going on. One, actually, I have two giveaways, three, five. I have a few giveaways going on right now. So if you want to head over to, uh, make sure you like like this video, subscribe, and head over to the two videos where I have giveaways and enter those draws. One of them is enter uh, is ending in about uh, March tenth. Um, as well as the other one is ongoing and will be ongoing for a while and you can win multiple times on that one so don't forget to uh, like those two videos and enter them and share them um, and uh, thanks for watching and have a great night